Good morning from Cooking with Jerry. It's uh, just past 7 a.m. The sun's about to come up over the mountain. Uh, a little bit chilly, but uh, with the blue sky, the sun in about two hours, it'll be warm, which will be nice. I want to show you a similar process we've done already a few times cooking with uh, vegetables but I'm not going to go through the whole process because it's the same as we've done. Uh, in the frying pan I put some coconut oil, butter and water uh, and it, uh, I turn the fire on and then I put uh, a small piece of yucca that I had chopped up into bite-sized pieces as well as a small piece of cabbage that I also sliced up and put in that cooked for about five minutes on a low heat and then I added a handful of raw peanuts. I have two kinds of peanuts. One's from the coast which is a desert climate and the other one's local which is a rainforest climate. I soaked them in water, a small jar with water. This is what I have left which will be my next meal and then that cooked for about five minutes. So altogether ten minutes of cooking and then I added two farm fresh eggs uh, that I got from the neighbor and I stirred it uh, and the eggs cooked a little bit and then I added uh, romaine lettuce that I had washed and chopped uh, and that cooked for less than a minute and then I turned the heat off and I added a small handful of grapes from a neighbor's vineyard. He's got a property about 20 kilometers from here and it was the last handful of grapes I had that I bought two days ago. Uh, and that's been sitting here now honestly for about half an hour because I got preoccupied doing other stuff. So it's not hot but it'll still be warm. And I put it on my plate and a little bit of salt, a little bit of Sacha Inchi oil which is grown in the Andes, similar, it's a nut similar to almond as far as properties go but it's a combination, it's a little bit softer like a walnut uh, and then I put two pieces of the homemade bread from yesterday's video that didn't get finished because the battery of the camera uh, died uh, after about nine minutes of video um, but we'll do another bread video. Uh, it's bread, but it's not traditional bread. There's no yeast, uh, not so much uh, of the wheat flour uh, and some powders from nuts and seeds giving it a brownish color. Let me show you. Uh, there's a bit of liquid which is perfect because the bread's going to soak it up as I eat it. And here's all the stuff I said. Uh, no need to repeat, I don't think. And so that's my breakfast later today for lunch. I'm not sure. Uh, I have a little bit left over. I don't know if I'll be able to finish everything for breakfast. Uh, if I don't finish, it'll be next meal. Um, and uh, being Sunday uh, in about four hours or whatever, uh, a lot of people will gather at the river. There's a, a 90 degree bend in the river and some rocks that stop the rapids. So there's a perfect area about 150 meters long, 50 meters wide for people to swim and enjoy the river and cool off. Uh, the city's about 20 kilometers away down the mountain and uh, it can get kind of hot. Uh, today's chilly but as I said it'll probably warm up and it should be a beautiful day and I hope the same for you. It's um, about five minutes later and I reviewed my video and I realized that I forgot to add in my little speech. There's also a small handful of cranberries and raisins both yellow and purple raisins, one dried fig and one dried date. Uh, it increases a lot the sugar content because dried fruit especially has a lot of sugar concentration compared to the fresh fruit which will also have more water. 
What I did uh, last night is I soaked these dried fruit in water, a jar like this. I rinsed the dried fruit as I always do, same with any kind of nut, seed or bean. I rinse them under the tap water and then uh, I put them in the jar with some clean bottled water. It's important to, to wash these items because um, there's something called field dust. It's a general term that describes what might get on the food item in between farm and reaching your home. Uh, whatever the handling at the factory or at the farm. Uh, so it's advisable to always wash and rinse those items. Uh, and then when the, when the fire was turned off, I added the dried fruit to the, the frying pan and also I added the little bit of liquid that they had been soaking in. It's really sweet. Uh, many times I'll use it for a pancake batter or a cake batter uh, or a bread batter. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to add and uh, now it's time for breakfast.